So onwards to heat number two with RTS Asaluto. You've got a new car. Here we go. First new car, or, or uh, stage two car. Ready to roll. Max speed increase 18 miles per hour. Pretty tame considering we were just driving uh, Tarazi cars and those were designs were crazy. But here's the Asaluto Fatalita. I have no idea what this looks like or what this kind of looks Porsche y. It looks like a wide body 959 now that I look at it actually. In a way. Anyways, that's our core. That's our core. Ah, I decided to get a new car for the second heat. That's cool. This car is set to run at maximum speed. I believe this is the best that we can do at this time. But only drivers with exceptional abilities are expected to drive this car at its maximum performance limits. In addition, I hear the other teams have upgraded their cars as well. The competition will be fierce. To, set, to accept all that lies ahead and to achieve victory, this is the way of RTS. If you understand me, go on. The race is about to begin. Okay. I'm playing this on a PS1. I'm playing this on a PS2, actually. But an actual PS2. Anyways, let's get started with Heat 2 at Edge of the Earth. Let's go. We're racing Route 99 in Edge of the Earth. Yeah, alright. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully win. <laughs> let's, let's hopefully continue winning. Whoa! Or GT looking fucker. <laughs> An interesting looking car. I believe that's the lizard. Alright. Here we go. Ooh, okay. That drift was, uh, that, that car was doing a lot of things there. It, it desperately wanted to straighten up a lot of times. It looks like I'm still uh, got a bit to learn about how the drift mechanics in this game. Ah, yeah, like don't do that. <laughs> that was a bad idea. That was a very not good idea. Around the PRC three wheeler. Okay, we'll figure it out. Got through, uh... Up to fifth place. Almost half the field in lap one. Just, uh, swing by our teammate! Holy sh... Ooh, that was close to the wall. Hokey dokey. Swing by our teammate and almost die. Seems like whenever I get on the throttle, that's when the car kind of tries to straighten up. So I was actually off the throttle a lot there. Then I could visibly see the car start to straighten up when I got back on it. Still learning. We're learning. I was about to drift that turn there. Remember at the very last moment I didn't need to. Three more cars. On lap two. This track looks suspiciously similar to Route 5. Um, because your brain is telling you that. Because it is. It, it looks like a street course at night with tunnels. That's it. Not the best overtake attempt, but I went for it. Excuse me. A little bumping, a little, a little side draft. Don't mind me. Alright. 
figuring it out. We're figuring it out. Oh yeah. Alright, and we are going to take a win in the first race of Heat 2. Air noise. Their country's brand car. Yes, some disc. Yeah, they use the uh, all about that national pride. It's gonna be interesting when we get to the. Uh, other portions of this LP where we start driving uh, different cars with each team. See Ridge Racer 8. Nah, I'd say if Ridge Racer 8 were to happen, it, sh it already would have, but I don't think Namco has any interest in making Ridge Racer 8 at this point in time. Ah, fantastic. You achieved great results without bowing to pressure from your competition. Crew is elated that their efforts on our new car paid off. Yes. Uh, the goal we seek is on a higher plane than this, but you're closer to that ideal. Well, the final race of this heat is on next. We can advance to the final Grand Prix if you win. Our search for perfection will continue there. Nothing must be allowed to get in the way of achieving our goal. Uh, Unbounded's a spin-off. The theme of Genki Gilbert's story. So far, it's just RTS uh, expects uh, winning, and we only hire elite winning drivers who are the best. God, Ridge Racer Vita was such a fucking slap in the face. That was the one that, like... Came with like what three tracks and like two cars. They expected and fucking tried to lock everything else behind a paywall. Yeah, once we get to the final, that's when the plot will uh, start to really unravel. Right now, we're just kind of trying to make a name for ourselves. And, you know, we're trying to prove ourselves and. Get in good graces with the team. Oh, both Ridge Race PSP Ridge Racers were good. I still need to find like a physical copy of two on PSP, but I have to like import one since it was never released over here. I have to get like a PAL UMD. Oh boy. Well, that sucks. Do they really? I'm going to I'm going to need a citation for that. Of uh, Namco recognizing Unbounded as Ridge Racer 8. I'm talking about it. I'm going to keep talking about it. Listen. As much as you want to deny it, Unbounded exists, and while it's not, it's not a Ridge Racer game. It's a Ridge Racer game in name alone. It's okay. I didn't hate it. I played Rage Racer. I've done a Let's Play of Rage Racer. Granted, it was seven years ago, but I did it. The Diablo GP still haunts me to this day. <laughs> biggest problem is the title. If it wasn't branded a Ridge Racer game, I guarantee it would have had a way more positive uh, reception. Like, there's nothing like it's crazy about it. It's kind of generic and it's unnecessarily edgy in its uh, tone. But it's not a bad game. It's not a terrible game. Yeah. 
final lap. Where's the PRC, gang? Show your face, Pat Coward. No, I mean, it was made by... Didn't Bugbear uh, make Unbounded? So it's kind of like Bugbear's interpretation of, like, the burnout formula. Which is kind of weird to say. So that you got you got so you have the developers of like a derby racing game make a game in the style of burnout but with the ridge racer license man unbounded is weird <laughs> oh no I fucked up I fucked up Oh, this is going to be our first non-win for the LP. We're going to take P2. So close. Damn it. All right. Oh, well. Fuck. Our first non-victory. The streak is dead. The streak is over. And you know what? It's fitting that it came at this track, because this is, like I said, probably my worst track. He's gonna be pissed. I guess we're about to find out. Yeah, I'm just not good at this track. If I drifted that final turn properly, I definitely would have made the pass, but... I went for the dive bomb and I dove a little too much and hit the wall. Unfortunate. But there's our results. We still qualified for the uh, the final Grand Prix. So... We got that far at least. Now... What does Inky have to say about that? Hmm. One step forward, two steps back. Pass through the perfect... Path to the perfect race is difficult and long. This happened to me in the past. I thought I had perfection in my grasp for a moment, only to have it take everything away from me. That is the nature of perfection. In the pursuit of this goal, I have sacrificed many people in my life who are important to me. And so, Final GP is up next. The Chosen gather there to battle against each other for victory. There is no turning back now. Well, that went from 0 to 100 real quick. Jesus Christ, Inky. Okay. Well, we've made it through Heat 2, with a first and a second. So, onward to uh, the final GP with RTS Asaluto.